Welcome everybody to Scott Cooks. Today we'll be unboxing our new Ninja Foodi Smart XL Grill. Let's get started. Let's go over what we should expect to find when we open the box. We're going to look for that grill grate. A hinged grill hood. Hopefully the hood will be on it. A splatter shield. A six quart cooking pot. And of course the six in one smart base. There should be a thermometer. A crisping crisper basket and a cleaning brush and uh, let's go ahead and open it up and see what's in it I think there's a recipe book in there as well All right, first thing we find is it's very well packed, neat and organized. Big envelope full of stuff. Don't put it in the oven. Uh, how to get a smoke-free experience, how to use the thermometer. We'll go over all that. Um, really nice book and a recipe book and an instruction book. That's what we found in the envelope. Okay, neatly packaged on the top is their version of the, the grill grate. What are they calling it? Yep, they're calling it a grill grate. Okay, very nice, very large, good size. We're going to have a lot of fun with that, guys. Let's see what else we could find in there. Okay, we've got a cleaning brush. Some sort of a strange shape on the bottom. We'll figure out what that does in a minute. Okay, I wanna just reiterate how very well packed this was. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out, set it down on the table, and I'm gonna move the box out of the way so we can see what we got. And uh, yes, I am doing this outdoors for you today. Get some nice natural sunlight in this beautiful Texas weather we're having today. And here we go. There you have it, guys. Isn't that a beautiful looking machine? Beautiful. Let's open it up. It's well packaged. Got some good security tape on it. Oh yeah, very well packaged inside. So there's our basket, our crisper basket. Wow, this thing is huge. Oh, I can get I can get a whole chicken in that thing. That's great. Some more packing material. Here's another basket. Do a little quick assembly here. I believe this fits in there. This basket probably fits down in there. Tape off. Got a lot of tape on this thing. Ah, that is our thermometer. It's attached to the side. Awesome.
Well, all right, guys, that's everything there. Uh, let me go over some specs with you real fast. All right, this is a 1,760 watt foodie grill with a hinged grill hood. It has a grill grate included. Now, please don't get that confused with the, um, the other company that I use with their grill grate uh, sear and sizzle. This is a completely different product. This is made by Foodie, it made by Ninja, and a proprietary to their grill here. Uh, I'll tell you what, guys, that has some weight to it. Anyway, it's a 9 inch by 12 inch high density grate with non stick coating. It's got a four quart air fry crisper basket. Four quart. Man, you put a lot of fries in there. It's got a, what they call a family size cooking pot. That's what's in there right now. That's a six quart, six quart cooking pot. And it's got a thermometer, which will plug into the side and um, go into your meat. And uh, we can just program a steak, for example, to say medium rare. And when it's medium rare, it'll tell you when it's done. And, of course, it includes a cleaning brush. Always a handy thing. It also includes a recipe book. Let's check a random recipe. Chicken fried pork with crispy new potatoes. Sounds weird. Ooh, pork loin fillets. Very nice, very nice. And there's a doneness guide in here. So they've really laid this out nicely. Let's go over the thermometer placement real fast for you here. There is a plug right here on the side. You just plug it in and you uh, just take your thermometer and you put it into your meat and close the door. Pretty much uh, all there is to that. And when you wrap the thermometer back up in its case, uh, there's a little place to insert it right there for storage on the side. Let's go ahead and try to pull that splatter guard off. Now that is pretty cool. You remember on my foodie, my Ninja foodie, I have a whole video on how to clean this thing because the, um, the elements are exposed, but they've actually put a splatter guard over top of this one. And I'm gonna see if I can get you a little closer to that. And I've not pulled this off before, but let's go ahead and try to take it off. go so now your elements will be protected and you can just wash this thing out in the sink and let's see if we can figure out how to put it back in so it's got some grooves here and you can see the uh the turned metal right there so just lay the groove into that and pop it back into place and that's that wow that is gonna make my life so much easier cleaning that foodie pot top uh whoa, it's pretty right difficult it's got a good size heavy lid that's going to stay down for you let me bring you all the way around the machine so you can get an idea Let's zoom you back out a little bit so you can get an idea of the, of the size and everything here okay let's just put my hand up there so there's my hand in the top so you can get a plenty of room you know i can get two hands on the handle so this is a good size machine has a little weight to it but it easily fit on our counter 1760 watts it's the rating a little vent area there <clears throat> this is where you'll put your storage for your thermometer there we'll open that back up for you and get a closer look heating element down there grill up top so you know you, you'll either use that you can drop this in if you're crisper and then of course you've got your heavy duty i'm not kidding guys this is a heavy duty grill grate right there with i love these handles of course you're still going to want to use some some gloves for that and uh, man i cannot wait to throw a steak or burger or something on that wow 
and we'll be doing that very shortly make sure you hit the like button subscribe to the channel hit the bell for notifications because we're going to be cooking a lot on this thing looking forward to it let's go ahead and power up check out our display very nice uh there's no um manual buttons this is all digitally controlled so you choose your mode air crisp Temperature, up and down. Time, up and down. Start, stop. We'll go over to roast. Exactly the same. Grill. High, medium, low. Bake. Like an oven. Broil, which I assume would only be using the top elements. And there is a dehydrate on here. So I guess we can make some jerky in there. So let's put it on air crisp 390 20 minutes we're going to fire this up uh, just for a couple minutes to uh, see how it operates makes the same sound as my ninja foodie it's going to be a quick demonstration of the ninja foodie grill start from the start power on now this thing is pretty cool the way this works is you don't put your food in first it's going to go ahead and preheat for you, and then it's going to tell you to add your food. So let's choose Air Crisp, 390, 20 minutes, and we're going to start. And these little flashy lights here are indicating the temperature, and when it finally gets to the end over here somewhere, it'll be at 390. You can see that we're preheating. So once the preheat is complete, it should say add food right here on the screen. Go ahead and throw your uh, French fries or whatever your Air Crisp in there and then go ahead and cook. There you have it. So let's pretend like we had our food. Throw some food in there. Close her up. And immediately starts the cooking process and the timer goes for you. And of course, as just like the Ninja Foodie, you can adjust your time if you want to. Well, there you have it, guys. Make sure you hit the bell for notifications, subscribe to the channel, leave me comments, and hit that like button. See you soon, and get ready for some serious cooking on the Ninja Foodie Smart XL Grill.